Hi everyone, this is me Mohammed Yakub. I'm back again making another video and this one gonna be a really special one. We're going to explore the ENC 28J60 Ethernet controller with the STM board and the way I'm gonna go about doing this is that unlike some of my previous videos where I just provided the driver for it, this one we will go step by step from initializing the module, setting up a Kyle project into someone doing some more advanced stuff like designing TCP IP stacks and HTTP protocols and then finally using it for some internet applications such as uh, using it as a web server. I will divide this big tutorial into four to six videos. In this very first video I'll talk about three things. I will introduce the nc 28 g 60 and then I'll go ahead and set up a Kyle project using Cubemix and after that I will do all the initialization settings for the module. Alright, let's make a start with a short introduction to the ENC 28J60 Ethernet module. Uh, referring to the datasheet, it uses SPI interface to communicate with microcontrollers and it does not have built-in TCP IP stack on hardware. You have to create them yourself in software. This is unlike this ESP8266 module. If you have used this module before, you would know that this module does all the low-level Ethernet like TCP IP stack on this intelligent chip. That's not the case with this ENC module. This one is designed specially for IT people who really need more flexible platform if they want to design their own protocol from scratch like to make them more secure and robust or for IT students who need to practice designing protocols or could be for hobbyists who really enjoy working in the low level. I do this because of the third reason, I'm not sure about yourself. One more thing I want to mention at this brief introduction is that this module facilitates a buffer for TX and RX. Uh, TX of course stand for transmit and RX for receive. So if you finish designing a protocol and you want to send it through the network you first shift the data to the TX buffer and the signal to the MAC layer to transmit this packet uh, through the physical medium to the network. And the same thing for receiving a packet. When the MAC layer receives a packet from any device on the local area network, it will automatically store this packet in the RX buffer and signal to the software so that you go and read that packet. I'll get into this in more detail when I get into a later stage, but for now that's all you need to know. I think that's enough introduction at this stage, so let's go ahead and set up a Kyle project. So let's go and open Cubemx. First click on New Project and select the right board, uh, STM3204 07, that's mine. Now let's configure the pinout. Um, let me start by enabling the onboard LEDs. And for the ENC module, looking back, at, looking back at the pinout, it has got an SPI bus, as we know, and chip select pin. So we need to enable SPI line, and we also need to enable a digital pin for the chip select. We need to connect this one to VCC and that pin to ground, and that's all we need. So let me enable SPI 1 for it. You can also use SPI 2 and 3. Uh, and I'll choose full duplex. Because when you go to the data sheet, it says in the, in the very first page, it says this one cap capable of full and half duplex. And I'll, I'll just go, I'll go with the full duplex. And of course, this steam board will act as a master device. Now, we also need to enable a digital pin for the chip select. I'll just choose P, PD7. That's what I used to choose. Now let me enable the external crystal oscillator. That will be very useful in this application. This one requires speed. So let me enable external high speed clock. And let's go to the clock configuration and configure this. External is 8 MHz and let me select this. Um, this one. And I want this to be the maximum, click, uh, maximum clock speed. And this will resolve it automatically. Perfect. Now let's go to the configuration and configure our SPI settings. So, SPI there is one main parameter that needs to be configured and that is the board rate. According to the data sheet, um, the ENC Ethernet module is um, 
uses SPI interface of clock speed up to 20 megahertz. So you have to make sure that our SPI clock uh, on the Cubemx project does not exceed 20 megahertz. So looking back, it's at the moment 42 megahertz. So we need to change that. Um, 8 will give us 10 megahertz. Uh, maybe 4, 21. Uh, I'll just go with 8 because it gave us 10 megahertz. Uh, and that's good enough. Right? That's it. Click OK. And you are ready to generate the project. So click on generate project icon. Give the project a name. I'll call it ENC 28J60 tutorial 1. And I'll store it at this location. Let me choose a suitable location for it. Just a second. Uh, I want to store it at this folder. Christmas 2016. That's all. Um, and you need to set, select the right IDE as Kyle Eugen 5 is the one I'm using. Um, and that's it. Click OK. Now, once the source code is generated successfully, go ahead and click on Open Project. And this will take you to Kyle 5. And as you can see, Cubemx generated all the files you need, it added all the libraries, and it created a main folder for you. All right. So we have introduced the ENC 28J60 Ethernet module, and we have created a Kyle project successfully. I think I'll leave the initialization for the next video because I think it will take plenty of time. So see you in the next part. Thank you.